Well, hello there my friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. Now a real quick video. I just wanted to show you guys this. This is one of my favourite cuts of bacon. Pretty much what this is, it is, as you know it in the US, the Boston butt. It's been cured like bacon. We know it over here in the UK is collar bacon. I think it's got so much more flavour than a traditional gammon or a ham off the leg. Purely because if you know your Boston butt or your shoulder joints, uh, which we also call the spare rib over here in the UK, you've got all that lovely marbling inside. I mean, this is absolutely fantastic. And to be honest, really hard to find nowadays. I mean, I got this from a butcher's in Hereford. I mean, this used to be the go-to joint at one time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I cook it and what it looks like and the flavour is absolutely immense. So I don't want to use all this because it's quite a big slab of meat. So what I'm going to do is just tie it up, cut it in half, and I will quickly show you how to cook the bad boy. And I can't wait. I mean, this is just awesome, cold, warm mashed potatoes, some parsley sauce, or cold doorstop pieces of bread, some nice cheese, can't be beaten. Right, just finish this off. So like I said then, so many names, collar bacon, boiling bacon. But just have a look at that. What a beautiful eye of meat. All that flavour and that fat is absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's cook it. Okay, you beautiful lot, couldn't be easier. We've got our collar bacon, our boiler bacon in a big ass pot. We're gonna add the holy trinity, the onions, the carrots, and the celery. We're gonna put in a couple of bay leaves, just give them a crush. And in here I've got some peppercorns, some juniper berries, get those in. Next, we want to top it up with a bit. Of Rough Rider, some of the finest apple champagne known to man. So we're going to put in what? Nearly two pints of cider in there. Just like that. Look. Okay. Then I'm just going to fill it up with water till it's about two inches above of the bacon. So I've got some parsley here that I'm going to use for another recipe. So what I'm going to do is just take the stalks off and drop those in. I have now got some heat under this. What we need to do is bring it up to a boil, turn it down and simmer it. Now, as you can see, that is a beautiful base for our bacon there. You know, that cider, the onions, the carrots, the celery, the peppercorns, the juniper berries, the bay leaf and that parsley. That is just a typical liquor for cooking your bacon or your gammon. It's gonna be beautiful. Right, bring it up to the boil, we'll turn it down and then pretty much forget about it. Okay, so that's boiling away nicely. What we need to do now is turn this down and basically you want a very, a very gentle simmer, you know, just little bubbles popping in the water. Because that is the trick when you're boiling ham so you don't make it tough is a very very slow braise or poach whatever you want to call it so I'm just going to take that down a notch and as soon as it comes to the desired temperature I will show you we will just put the lid on and then basically forget about it go and sit in the garden and drink some of them ciders it's so easy look at the colors though beautiful so this is what you're looking for, as you can see, just bubbles just coming to the surface. There's no anger in there, no anger in that boil, baby. So what I'll do is I'll just put the lid on, just on a skew. Now, if this dries up a little, if you lose a bit of liquid, just boil your kettle and top it back up. But pretty much, that's the hard work done. It's leave it. Slowly, slowly, catchy, a monkey. Rock up. Okay then, that has pretty much finished cooking. Now the cooking times for your gammon or your collar, if you can get hold of it, is 25 minutes per pound. 
Now this joint weighed four pounds, so that's an hour and 40 minutes. Now a neat little trick, a tip, if you want to eat your gammon or your collar or your ham cold, reduce the cooking time by 15 minutes and let it cool completely in the liquor. Then you get a lovely succulent ham. So I'm gonna let that cool a bit and we're gonna cut into it. But what you're left with then, this is almost liquid gold this. This is a ham stock. You can make a ham and pea soup, anything. It's absolutely wonderful stuff. Don't throw it away. Even these veggies you could serve with your ham. Right, can't wait to get in this. I'll let this cool and we'll cut through it. Beautiful, just look at it, collar bacon, and that fat that runs through it, it's all flavour. Mm. It's deadly, this stuff. It's so nice, and I know this is wrong, but I've got to eat that bit. Mm. Okay then my friends, you really want to give this a try, if you can get hold of it, some collar bacon, it really is worthwhile searching it out, it's absolutely awesome. And all my beautiful friends, over the pond, this is the same mussel that the capicola is made of. Beautiful, beautiful collar bacon. Now what I'll do, I'll put that in the fridge and tomorrow when it cools down and sets, it'll be even better. But will it last that long well i hope you enjoyed that episode of the scott reed project if you did please click subscribe when my face comes up down here come on join the movement my friends also check me on my social media on my facebook scott reed and the scott reed project go on there search me out click follow on my twitter at the scott reed project and please do if you would like check out my patreon page but till next time I may have one more roll of this, I may. And then again, I might just eat it in one go. Take care my friends, all the best. Oh, and don't forget that lovely, lovely liquor. It is liquid gold. <laughs>